Hello everyone and welcome back in this into this really amazing build which is which is a uh, building a, a, a perfect track car a, a, a perfect lightweight powerful track car uh, it's really easy it's not that it's not that hard uh, especially after the latest update because the aerodynamics are now functional the suspension is now uh, perfect and very easy to tune and very easy to perfect of course when you are when when you know what you are doing so in this video you'll be seeing the model 6 900 i6 car so obviously uh, uh, from the title you already know what kind of engine in this car so before we start with all of the specs please remember to enjoy the video and of course if you enjoyed it hit that like button get subscribed if you are new to the channel and of course hit that notification bell button so you can get a notification each time i release a new video all right so uh, to build your perfect track car if you want to build a replica of this car it's easy if you don't want to get the dot car file although if you want to get this file it's easy go to my patreon page you will find this uh, you will find like a wallpaper of this car with the, an attachment of the dot car file if you want to download it and enjoy driving this in bmng dot drive game if you don't want to download the file you can just copy this video and copy everything i did i do here and then you can enjoy it as well all right so we have a carbon fiber panels that means carbon fiber doors uh, hood or bonnet uh, basically bumpers everything everything is made from carbon fiber we have the uh, monocoque chassis type of course monocoque we have carbon fiber chassis material well it's obvious uh, we have a uh, alright so the engine pla placement is mid transverse that means the engine is uh, mounted transverse in a transverse way in the middle of the car it should be in the middle but it seems like it's in the rear it's like in the rear middle of the car not in the not in the true middle but that's that's yeah, that's the name of the option we have push rod suspension front and rear with plus 5 quality moving on this is the engine that i made specifically for this car it's an inline 6 magnesium block 95 94 millimeters on the bore 96.1 millimeters on the stroke which equals a 4001 cc engine or a 4 liter uh, inline 6 engine dual of head camshaft with 5 valves per cylinder and of course aluminium silicon cylinder head billet steel crankshaft lightweight titanium connecting rods and lightweight forged pistons with plus 11 quality a little bit too much on the quality i admit that and this is not a production car because it will require a lot of time to be engineered and to be built but this is a car that you can enjoy right now in your beam and you dot right game because it sticks to the ground it corners hard it, it accelerates hard and it's really it's really fun to drive moving on to 10.0 to 1 is the compression ratio 100 on the cam profile variable valve timing on all cams with plus 11 quality the camshafts here of course it's a racing camshaft it's not a high performance camshaft no it's a racing a true racing camshaft we have a single turbocharger ball bearing internals 1463 horsepower intercooler <clears throat> and we have a maxed out compressor size of 76.3 millimeters and 55 millimeters on the turbine size maxed out air ratio and 17.9 psi of boost with plus 10 quality we have direct fuel injection individual throttle bodies or thr a throttle per cylinder so we have six individual throttles performance intake manifold we are using super 98 octane fuel so Yes, if the car is usable, if you want to drive it, if you want to refuel it like in normal fuel st pump stations or fuel stations or as the American call they calls them, gas stations, because 98 is available in most countries. I'm not using AKI, I'm using RON, so yeah, pay attention please, this is not AKI, this is RON, that's the measure of octane that I always use. Some of the guys that did the, the SUVs yesterday told me that he used 100, or he, sorry, he used 95 AKI, which uh, which translate to 100 octane fuel here. So I told everyone in my previous video make a, make an SUV with 95 octane on RON measure, not AKI. So yeah. Uh, we have 12.5 is area ratio with a 78 on the ignition timing 8500 is the rpm limit which seems very perfect uh, plus 10 quality short cast header single exhaust pipe we have 5 inch exhaust diameter high flow three-way catalytic converter and no mufflers at all with plus 10 quality 
and the final result speaks for, for itself, 917.3 horsepower at 8500 RPM, 616.4 pound-feet of torque at 6700 RPM. The engine is super smooth, it's very responsive, it uh, has sporty noise to it, and of course the reliability is 82.4. Uh, the reliability is 82.4. Um, let's see what we have here. So the service cost is perfect, and let's see. Uh, the, the engine weight is actually very light, but as I as I was as I was saying, it requires a bit of time uh, to be engineered properly. That's why it's not it's not a it's not a, it's not an engine to be produced. This is a car that you can enjoy, like right now in beam engine dot drive. The emission is actually very very low. 18% uh, of fuel efficiency, which is really not bad. It sounds like a true beast at idle. If you have your headphones on, you can hear you can hear that the true note of the exhaust. Alright, so the engine sounds like a true beast. Of course, we have the famous carbon fiber intake manifold, six individual throttles, and the massive intercooler with, uh, well, not not a mid-sized turbo. It's actually a massive turbo, but an efficient turbo because let's look at the graph. The turbo will kicks in like 3,000 RPM or 3,100 RPM. The turbo will start to spool, which see, for a racing car. I mean, you have the power from 3,100 RPM all the way to 8,500 RPM. All of this is just power, which is perfect. Let's move on. I've chosen the famous 2002 coupe body. I've, I mean, I always choose this like, each and every time because it's such a be beautiful body with, of course, uh, very sleek, very aerodynamical, and, of course, uh, very tunable. And uh, it's very amazing to use as a track car, as a hyper car, as a racing car because as I was saying it's very aerodynamical it's uh, it's perfect and especially if you mount the engine mid, -tra mid transverse the car will, I mean the balance of the car it will not be like 50 50 no it will be like 70 70 30 but with with such wide tires and such nice uh, downforce on the rear it will create a masterpiece if you know what you are doing with the suspension too. So we have plus five quality on the body, the fixtures of course, moving on, I've chosen this racing white color. The fixtures are very simple, those uh, regular automation uh, angry headlights, a front massive uh, grille, we have side vents, of course because the radiator is here on the front, that means yes we need to put a grille to cool it up. We have the famous racing automation uh, rims. We have, uh, of course, the uh, sporty side mirrors, the door handles, the fuel filler cap, and do a dual rear side vents. We have the rear spoiler. Of course, not made from car. I mean, everything is made from carbon fiber, but everything is was painted in white because white is the official, you know, racing color. Um, let's see what else. Um, so basically that's it. The tail lights are regular automation tail lights, license plate holder, although it's not really necessary, but it's it's here. The company logo, the dual exhaust pipes. Although the engine uses a single exhaust pipe, but uh, the 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 way that the exhaust pipe that I that I really wanted that I really want to make with this car is like a split Y at the end, which gives it like a, a dual, dual exhaust tips. We have a ra racing antenna on the roof, so if they want to talk on the radio with the racing driver from the pits, so it's a perfect racing car. Moving on, we have a transverse all-wheel drive, dual clutch, 7-speed gearbox, uh, we have the final drive is 3.66 to 1, the uh, or a top speed of 356 kilometers per hour. 43 on the spacing, electronic limited slip differential, 70% of the power goes goes to the rear, 30% goes to the front with plus 5 quality. Let's remind the game. Alright, the game remembered that we have all wheel drive. So all of these settings will give you 0 to 100 time in 2.1 seconds. 
superbike, superbike's territory. Yes, that's how the acceleration is. 2.1 seconds, my friend. Moving on, we have radial tires, semi-slick tires, of course. Uh, 265 is the front tire width, 330 is the rear tire width, 17 inch rim, 610 is the tire diameter, 5, uh, 5 5 is the run the front rim offset, 20 is the rear rim offset, carbon fiber rims, plus 5 quality, you know, the racing car recipe. We have carbon ceramic front brakes with 4 pistons, 350mm, carbon ceramic also rear discs with also 4 pistons, 330mm, 60 on the pad type, 55% of the brakes goes to the front, 45% to the rear, no brake fade whatsoever, and the stopping distance from 100 to 0 km per hour in 28.4 meters. We have active downforce, 100 on the downforce, active rear wing, of course we have 62 on the front lip and 100 on the rear wing, engine cooling with 55 and brake airflow or brake cooling of 100, plus life quality. We have a single seat sport interior to keep it prestigious as well with no entertainment system and zero quality. Ele electronic variable power steering, launch control plus electronic stability control, zero quality. Standard uh, TENS safety equipment, zero quality also. We have progressive springs, semi-active dampers, active sway bars with this pretty much custom suspension setup. Let me... Alright, I think there is something wrong with the suspension because that's not how I tweaked the car. Hmm, that's pretty much weird. Let's see. Something has changed. I don't know what it is, but something, something really deeply has changed. I mean, of course, I left it on 112.8, but this used to be 99.8%, and I've already exported the car, so yeah. No, no, dampers are perfect. The suspension tune, the spring tune is perfect, as you can see the lines, like when the car goes over the bump, it will stay level. Both of the suspension will join together to create a level, a level, a single level up, so the car will not jump around, it will stay level basically on any kind of bump, which is perfect. The car is, uh, this, the car tends to oversteer, not understeer, which is perfect, but the sportiness value, this was... I mean, yes, it did change, so hopefully the car will not be ruined. Alright, so let's see what's what later on. Alright, so loading the car a little bit down. Perfect, so what else? What else we can do? So that's, that's pretty much it, I think. Alright, I'm gonna keep it like this. I'm gonna keep it like this. Save the car. Alright, so let's move on. Plus 5 quality, 110.8 millimeters is the, is the right height. This is pretty much custom suspension setup. Uh, the, so the final drive or the top speed of the car is 336 km per hour. You know, typical racing car top speed, but not, but not a top speed runner. This is not a top speed machine. No, this is a racing car that should stick to the ground when you are cornering hard and accelerate hard. That's the whole point of it. 2.1 seconds is the 0 to 100 time. 9.06 is the quarter mile time. Very, very, very big, very quick. 2.5 uh, degrees is the roll angle. Wow, that's 1.61 G. Uh, 1.25. That, that's that's very nice. No brake fading whatsoever. Stopping distance is very perfect. We have active downforce. The car weighs 1,139.1 kilograms. Uh, weight distribution: 38% to the front, 61.9% to the rear. Power to weight ratio. Wow, that's massive. And of course, the towing capacity. Although this this car will not tow anything, but it's also massive. And the load capacity is very, very nice. That's very cool. 
So in the market section, the car can do, or oh, this racing car can do 17.1 miles per gallon. That's that's very that's very perfect for a racing car. It's uh, it's drivable. That's perfect and extremely sporty. Not comfortable at all because well, it's a racing car. Uh, it's prestigious and it's safe. Not bad, not bad, not bad indeed. Uh, it's very reliable, of course, for a racing car, and uh, it has some some practicality points, some utility points. Not bad. The emissions are very low. It's nice. It will cost you with 10% margin, although no one uses a 10% option, but why not? If this was my company, why not? So uh, it will cost you $129,040. Yes, $129,000, K and $40. But you have to pay the $40 before the $129K. That's the policy of the company. No, not, not even a dollar will be spared. So that's pretty much it, so let's try and see how much time it will get. 150.92 Don't worry, you will be seeing me drive it. You will not be simulator. So 150.92, that's super, super quick. Alright, so let's save the car and hopefully I'm gonna export it. Hopefully the game will not, will not crash. Alright, so the game didn't crash. That's, that's a relief. Everything, let's, let's check, everything has been loaded perfectly. Alright, press the export button. So basically everything is running perfectly so far, that's very much perfect. And now I'm gonna switch to beamedge.drive game and uh, start testing the car on automation t on the automation test track and uh, much much more. Alright, so let's switch over there. Alright, so we got back, now we are in beamengine.drive, so before we start driving this little beast here, although I was driving it for a long time, you can see the brakes temperature is a, little, is a little bit higher than usual because I finished testing the car and it was absolutely like a dream, and uh, yeah, I did not reset the car, the car is still running on its first run, as you can see the petrol or the fuel is a little bit decreased, I've used some of it and the brakes are not they are not hot actually these are like the, in their perfect temperatures and uh, yeah before we start driving uh, I, I there is this graph here so if you want to pay attention like to my throttle how much throttle am I applying how much brakes am I applying and uh, this is the map here we have a navigation system which is really awesome because you can see like a lot of details that you usually cannot see when you are driving on your own in any strange map and also we have the airspeed so if the tires are spinning and this this color this uh, this speedometer here is, is telling like some kind of different speed this is the correct airspeed that the air that is passing over the body of the car so this is actually more ac uh, like accurate because uh, yeah it measures the air going off going on the the body this measures the speed of the tires like if you have some wheel spin the, it will tell like a different speed from the real speed of the car so all right so car definitely sounds beautiful actually all right so uh, we are at, i've turned off the electronic stability control so we are running we are running without any uh, electronic uh, electronic nannies there's drive if you, want to, if you want to drive automatically or a sport automatic mode or the manual perfect mode all right so three two one and go all right corners awesome i've been driving the car like for four or five laps and it was it was a pleasant to drive it was really pleasant to drive Little bit of brakes. Apex.
apply a little bit more speed than usual. Sorry about that. If you can just, if you if you if you get some enough enough practice with this car, like you know when to brake, when to accelerate, it will be the most pleasant thing to drive ever. You have the power, you have the grip, you have the uh, the braking system, you have the perfect aerodynamics. It's really perfect, and of course you have the looks of the car looking really awesome. And what I truly like about this uh, suspension tool is that it. It does not allow like the car to oversteer and also does not allow the car to understeer of, of course if you are driving it of course if you like uh, if you reach a current corner with so much high speed yes it will, it will understeer a little bit so you need to pay attention to your speedometer as well and brakes are your friends brake system is your friend here, it's not your enemy, so I mean, look if, if, the, if, if, you, if you overcook the, uh, the corner and like you get to it really quick and the car starts to understeer a little bit, you can just apply the brakes because the brakes have been balanced perfectly, the brakes will help you to, to correct the understeer and you can control the whole body of the car by the by the gearbox. No, you, you need to like put your mind with, and your ears with the engine note and also with the gearbox. And you can you can create an amazing lap. You can do an amazing lap. And the turbo is working perfectly. The engine is not the engine is not laggy at all. I mean, on any gear. I have the power. On any gear, the turbo is is spooling up nicely. I just put my foot hard down, and the power is there. Check it out. The brakes will correct everything. The engine will correct everything. The gearbox will control the whole body of the car. Even if you like made a whole mess on a corner, like if you forget to. If you, if you forgot to go over the apex, it's okay. And the car is so quick. Acceleration is brutal. Brakes are working perfectly, no brake fading. The brakes are not overheating. The engine is working perfectly. It's like a like it's like a perfect harmony. Oh, not harmony, a symphony. The suspension is amazing. The tires, although we have very wide tires on the rear, to uh, to correct the weight balance of the car. Yes, it's funny. Very, very enjoyable. Alright, so let's finish this lap and go to the handling circuit and see what's what. Let's put it in drive and drive, you know, normally. I am truly enjoying my time with this amazing creation here. Although, 
last night or actually this morning because I finished up uh, the, the previous video before this one very very late so I stayed like I stayed up like all morning like 2 3 a.m. in the morning making making more cars and more uh, vehicles in our racing game I made like a truly a quick van like the quickest van ever yeah and uh, I tested it it was very thirsty and it was really awesome maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna show it to you in the next video so all right so this is the handling circuit let's begin acceleration it's like I'm accelerating it's like I'm accelerating a super bike does grip This is the first time driving this car on the handling circuit, and we have crashed it. You need to, I need to practice a little bit more. I'm gonna leave it in. Let me stop it and leave it in sport automatic. That should keep me. That should keep me more focus. I mean, of course, remember, we are driving the car without any electronic or nannies, no, no stability control, no traction control, nothing. So all of this magic is happening right now, just by the magic of aerodynamics and, uh, and perfect suspension too, and perfect power to weight ratio and everything. So if you turn on the traction control and the electronic stability control, oh, the car will get, will just get I'm gonna go manual. I hate automatic gearbox. So as I was saying, if you go to, uh, if you turn on the traction control and electronic stability control, oh my God, the car will stick even harder. It will not allow any errors. This six cylinder engine, the inline six turbo, I'm truly impressed with it. Sounds amazing, the power is amazing, it's so smooth, and the very brutal acceleration is just. Oh. The gear spacing, the final drive, and everything has been synced together with the engine torque and everything. What an amazing machine! So, what should we do? Should we continue driving or let's, let's try and go outside? Where are we now? This is the track, so let's set it in automatic. This is the oval. the track Wow, what a machine Amazing, perfect car. 
I mean, before this one, before this uh, this car, I had the I had another sports car, not sports car, a track car with a Boxer Six engine in it. Yep, that was also doable. But this one, this one has joined the club easily. Because now we have the map, so I know when to break. It's really awesome, it, it grips really hard and oh, about that because there some kind of snow will start to build on the road. Yep, as you can see, the car will start to get a little bit slippery because we are driving basically on ice. But the tires, the semi-slick tires are are working nicely. You need to be careful. Oh my god. The road is getting slippery. Breaking. So that's pretty much it for this uh, for this track car. Looks very awesome. It drives really awesome and uh, well it's really perfect. I enjoyed my time driving it so much on the track, on the handling circuit and everything else. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed the video. So please remember if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button, get subscribed if you are new to the channel and of course hit that notification bell button so you can get a notification each time I release a new video. And remember as I've always as I as I did tell you at the beginning of the video, if you want to if you don't want to copy the car, if you want just to get the, the car file so you can put it in your game and enjoy driving it every day. You can have you can have it on my Patreon page. The link in the description below. Just go to my Patreon page. You will you will find a wallpaper of this car. Also, you can get the wallpaper. It's easy and an, uh, an attachment file with the file of this car. You can just download this file, put it in your import car file folder, and then you will find it in your automation game. So you can if you want to tweak on it, if you want to export it and drive it. It's up to you. Don't worry, it's free, of, free. It's free of charge. You can have the file anytime you want. And with all of my other car files, they're all on the Patreon page for free. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And uh, I'm gonna see you very, very soon with more amazing creations. Hopefully soon, I'm gonna make another video about about that van that I told you about, and about the heaviest car that I ever did. Yes, soon you'll be you'll be you'll be see a video about the heaviest car in automation game, like extremely super 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 heavy all right so thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now my friends